Why does neurosurgery residency take seven years? You can divide the training into three different segments, intern year, junior residency, and senior residency, which includes chief year. During intern year, you're learning the basics of neurosurgery care. You'll also spend time on other services that we work closely with, including neurology, general surgery, and plastic surgery, and ENT, can't forget about them. One of the biggest periods of growth is transitioning from intern year into a junior resident. During junior residency, you're expected to take call. When you are on call, you are responsible for anything neurosurgical in the hospital. This includes seeing consults, which is when other services will ask neurosurgery if they can address a certain problem related to the brain or the spine. In the OR, you start doing simple and then increasingly more complex cases with an attending. After two years, you'll be a PGY-4. Different programs have different structures, but many of them will offer a research or an elective year. This year can be flexible for many programs or it can be very strong. Structured. It really just depends on the program. In your fifth year, you're now a senior resident and you'll have increasing autonomy. Some programs will send you to community hospitals or the VA. You may also do more complex surgeries. During your sixth or seventh year, you will be the chief resident and you'll be spending a lot of your time doing the most complex surgeries with the attendings. You also will have administrative responsibilities. In my program, we do our chief year and our sixth year, which allows us to have our seventh year for a fellowship. The goal is that by the end of chief year, you should be able to be an independent neurosurgeon.